The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints says it supports the Respect for Marriage Act in the Senate, which includes amendments that protect religious freedom. The bill would codify same-sex marriage in federal law and is up for a vote in the U.S. Senate soon. We do have team coverage for you tonight. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser has reaction from LGBTQ advocates. But we start with Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow, who first broke the news this afternoon. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints says it will support a compromised version of the Respect for Marriage Act with amendments to ensure religious liberties are protected. In a statement to Fox 13 News, the church says, quote, The doctrine of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints related to marriage between a man and a woman is well known and will remain unchanged. We are grateful for the continuing efforts of those who work to ensure the Respect for Marriage Act includes appropriate religious freedom protections while respecting the law and preserving the rights of our LGBTQ brothers and sisters. We believe this approach is the way forward as we work together to ensure the principles and practices of religious freedom together with the rights of LGBTQ individuals, much can be accomplished to heal relationships and foster greater understanding. Now this is obviously a significant development. The church is a major influence here in Utah, both culturally and politically. The LGBTQ rights group Equality Utah tells me it's glad to see the church taking this stance and that it believes that this is an area of agreement. Utah Senator Mitt Romney has also also been involved in the negotiations on this bill. He told me earlier this month that he was working to ensure that religious liberties are protected and believe that a compromise could be reached. It's also worth pointing out that all four members of Utah's House delegation on the congressional level voted in favor of the Marriage Act. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah. An incredibly important evolution of the LDS Church. That is how some Utahns are describing this announcement. We continue our team coverage tonight with Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser. She joins us live from church headquarters in downtown Salt Lake after speaking to members of the LGBTQ community. Emily. Bob Kelly, the, cho the church wrote that they believe this approach is the way forward, and that's exactly how LGBTQ members are feeling today, hopeful towards a more accepting future. Recent years, queer Utahns watched as a rainbow Y sparked controversy. They went to school and never felt seen, and they've spent years fighting to be themselves on campus. Love, not hate. Now, the latest announcement from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has them hoping something can change. There's something special about knowing that, like, about being alive during the time when such a significant thing is happening. BYU student David Schill is no stranger to supporting LGBTQ students' rights at BYU. When he heard that the church supported the Respect for Marriage Act, a same-sex marriage bill, he couldn't believe it. I'm like gagged. I would have never thought 10 years ago that the church would ever, ever support the legalization of same-sex marriage. He has high hopes he'll see more tolerance on campus. It's a small but significant change in a cultural attitude towards queer people um, within the church. It's been a long road for the LDS faith and for Utahns more generally, uh, but it's an exciting day to see that the LDS church has evolved. That state Senator Derek Kitchen, currently Utah's only out LGBTQ plus legislator. He sued the state back in 2013 for marriage equality. The first federal lawsuit in the country uh, to legalize same-sex marriage and declare that all people have the right to be protected under the law. Kitchen says the church's announcement is something to celebrate, but still says there's a lot more progress to be made. But at the end of the day, no matter what they believe, all Americans deserve to be protected under the law. So this is the right thing to do no matter what. Students tell me they are a little concerned how preserving religious principles and practices could still impact how LGBTQ students are treated on BYU's campus, especially since the church did write in their statement that they believe the doctrine related to marriage is between a man and a woman, and that will, quote, remain unchanged. Reporting live in downtown Salt Lake City, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah. Emily, thank you. We also reached out to Gail Ruzzi 
Zika, president of the Utah Eagle Forum, about this news coming from the church today. She says she's grateful the church is speaking out in favor of religious liberty here. However, she does not support the Respect for Marriage Act. First of all, it's not the federal government's business to be in the marriage business. It's a state, you know, it, it, marriage is a state issue, not a federal issue. So they should not be passing any law uh, that would, would require states uh, to recognize the marriage of uh, the same sex marriage from another state. That's up to the state we live in. So if we live in a state that, that uh, says no same sex marriage, then that should be respected. This is a complex issue that we will continue to follow. Stay with Fox 13 News both on air and online and on our streaming platforms.